Okay, the latest cycle range from Audi 2016. Bit of a late review, but I wasn't holidaying furthest part of Wales, and I didn't think I'd find an Audi, and I did, and there was loads of this in stock. Now, I've been in previously to a local one near me, and it was still some on the shelves. Not a lot, but there was still some of it, most of it was on the shelves. So, thing is, if you miss it, with Audi, as we all know, it comes around again. They tend to reissue their stuff. Now, what they have reissued is, is these lights that was, came out last year, and I bought these individually for about 12 99 each. Now, they're packaged as a pair for a tenner, which is an absolute bargain. Still got mine, they still work. The rear ones are slightly dodgy if you don't keep it on charge. You must charge them if you don't use them uh, every month or every two or three months. Now, this catalogue, end of September, there's the lights there. I've actually bought another set of those. Some of these flashing ones, which are these things, which are really quite nice for three quid a piece. And I also bought some of the tail lights. I'll come to those in a bit. I mean, the range is pretty good. The, the trainer didn't get very good reviews, that got a, a right slating. But uh, everything else was pretty good. And these little armbands, leg bands, whatever you want to call them here, I've got loads of those. Uh, $1.99 each, very, very bright. They flash or they stay on. Uh, br very bright, again, brilliant. Velcro fastening. Right, let's see this. These are the latest sort of super versions of of these and they're aluminium apparently I've been told they're all based on the moon style design but a hell of a lot cheaper uh, these are nice they're all USB charging as the first ones were and uh, take one out nicely made there's the USB charge socket there And I think you double click it to get into the constant light. There's four levels of brightness back down to the low one. Double click again, put them in the flashing mode, and you've got this sort of my crazy strobe. If you're suffering any epileptic disorders, I'm very sorry. Hold your finger down on it, and it powers down. USB charging lead belt clip and of course the ubiquitous rubber strap somebody mentioned on the Audi site they couldn't get it in they said I've tried all ways of trying to fit it in am I being a bit dim and I'm um, trying to do this from behind the camera but I think you've got to pull that back there you go yeah you are being a bit dim <laughs> sorry it fits in perfectly yeah hold it down and pull it out. Fine. I mean, it's a square peg in a square hole, so you can't really go wrong. And you just push against the, probably wasn't giving enough hammer. Give it a bit of welly, and it goes, snaps in. There you go, front light. I think it's, this is again, it's charged out of the box a little bit. Really well made, impressed. Yeah, again, charged even before you need to charge it, so you can use them straight away, which is quite nice. Very bright, wow, look at that. And the disco strobe. Double click on your constant. Got a adjustment, like a notched adjustment as well. This is how the two lights come, with roughly the same option of mounting. The rubber strap, belt clip, a USB charger lead. The rear light has got the addition of the saddle rail, which is possibly the neater, preferable mount. And you have got an option with it being a square peg. You can have it obviously that way up, as it's shown in the the um, advert, or you can have it the way I want it, which is widthways. But there you go. Obviously, the test will be on the road in the dark and obviously in the light in traffic and I'll do another video showing you that uh, via the helmet cam. A 
constant. I think that's what the brightest light. No, that is. That is. No, that is. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, that's uh, impressive. Of course, it depends how long the, these last on the charge. I think I got four hours out of the other ones. I, I'm not out that long. I mean, four hours is probably maximum with, with them being on. Hang on, there's that the brightest. Flipping out, I've lost count. I'm. I'm uh, Right, that's the low setting, obviously. That's the lowest one, yeah. Wow. That's almost a fog light, isn't it? Like I said before. Very impressive. Yeah, brilliant. Power down. And double click. While they're on to get into your flashing modes. That's a bloody bright flash, that is. Go, blimey. And, uh, disco. Yeah, fantastic. Aluminium compared with the plastic ones. Well, I'll say these are all I've already reviewed, and it goes without saying, they're just a bargain at a tenner. And I think they, even these are. Just wrench them out. I think these are already charged. I'm sure they are. Yeah, they are. Because somebody says, oh, you need to charge them, but you don't. They're already ready to go. I mean, comparative. Between that one, let's just stick that on the brightest setting and put this one on the brightest setting, which is that one. I think they're roughly the same brightness from the eye. They're just it's just a bigger light, obviously. But these are $12.99 as the other ones were. And somebody might say, haven't you got enough light? Has anyone ever told you you can't have enough lights on a bike? Especially around where I live, I can't, don't know where they're bloody going. Right, the other ones I've got are these classic little bashes here. These are great things. Plastic, uh, £3 each. If you go in soon, probably about now, they'll be reduced and they'll probably they'll knock them down to about a couple of quid, £1.99. They're very bright. They take a CRO 23, whatever it is, and the thing about these ones, compared with others of a very similar look and, and style, they've got the, both the constant and this flash, but these come with this, what I call, the cop flash. That makes people basically stop and look at you. If they haven't seen you, they will do. And if you stick a couple of them on the front of each side of the handlebars, I guarantee you, they, they, they slow down because they, they see that flash and they, the thing that puts into most people's brains is police. Simple on, off from the, and you just keep pressing it to get the light option. Brilliant. I've got loads of them. The other thing I meant to mention about the older ones is the on and off and flash mode. It's different to these. These are a double click. With these, power it on instantaneously and it starts to either flash or be constant depending on where you last set it. Keep your finger on it and you'll either let it go pretty quickly and it powers down. But if you keep your finger on it for about three seconds, it'll go into flash mode or the other mode. It's about three seconds. So if I want to go from flash to constant, keep your finger on it, keep it on and there we go. Then you go through the brightness levels. Finger on it again, keep it on, flash mode, different flash mode, power it off, finger down, let it go. Just these gloves I got, which are excellent. Actually, I bought these thinking I haven't got any, and when I got back, I'd already bought a set. They're just high vis ones, really well made. They are very big fitting. I had to go, I mean, I've got big hands, but I had to go for a large rather than extra large because I don't like them too floppy on the bike. I want to be able to. Grip. But these are excellent. They're really, really warm. Plenty of movement and grip and no restriction. And this is extremely day glow when the uh, headlights catch it. Uh, these are 4.99. Lined gel pack. They also have a touch screen, thumb and first finger, which is also a nice little bonus. The other two lights 
finally that I bought, I bought a couple of these things which are called tail lights at $2.99 and they're on this bike on the cruiser, well one of the cruisers I got and they're just handy just as, as to be seen lights they're actually metal not plastic, I was impressed by that simple on and off and a flash but they come with a strap that can be put round seat pillars, rear stays, whatever and from a rear point of view to be seen I think they're quite neat again two, $2.99 each and say metal I'm very impressed by the quality of these so that's it